The Chengdu J-10 Firebird also known as Vigorous Dragon is a single-engine, multi-role fighter capable of all-weather operation, configured with a delta wing and canard design, with fly-by-wire flight controls, and produced by the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation CAC, for the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLF. The J-10 is mainly designed for air-to-air -air combat, but can also perform strike missions. In 1981, PLUF Commander Zhang Tingfa submitted a proposal to Deng Xiaoping for the development of a third-generation fighter for CNN 500 million. It was accepted later that year by the Central Military Commission CMC. It was the first Chinese aircraft program to incorporate modern development and acquisition processes. In one departure from the past, the supplier was now responsible directly to the customer, this allowed the PLUF to communicate its requirements and ensure they were met. Previously suppliers were responsible to their managing agency, which could produce products that failed to meet end-user requirements. Another difference was the selection of a design through competition, rather than allocating a project to an institute and using whatever design that institute created. Design proposals were made by the three major aircraft design institutes. Shenyang's proposal was based on its cancelled J-13 with a F-16-like straight wing. Hongdu's proposal was MiG-23 Su-24 like with variable sweep wing. Chengdu Aircraft Design Institutes CADI, proposal was a Saab 37 Vigin like design based on its cancelled J-9. Caddy's proposal was selected in February 1984. The following month, Caddy and Chengdu Fighter Factory were formally directed to develop and manufacture the aircraft, respectively. Song Wenkong became chief designer. The engine was selected during the design proposal stage. Candidates were an improved wash on WS-6, the WP-15, or a new engine. The new engine, ultimately the Shenyang WS-10, was chosen in 1983. The State Council and the CMC approved the program in 1986, codenaming it Number 10 Project. Interest waned in the following years which constrained funding and prolonged development. The Gulf War renewed interest and brought adequate resourcing. Unlike earlier programs, the J-10 avoided crippling requirement creep. Technical development was slow and difficult.